Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video the first 10 things to do for the Xiaomi 12T and Xiaomi 12T Pro. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is uh, to make the phone a bit faster because um, always if you open an app uh, like maybe Instagram, yeah, it zooms out and zooms in. Can you see that? It's a little animation and uh, if you remove these animations, the phone will be much faster. It's also in other apps, not even in Instagram. So in every app you open, even on the Play Store and so on. That's on every app. And if you remove these animations, the phone will be much faster. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down, you're right next to the camera, scroll down right next to the camera, and then you will have here always the symbol for the settings. So then you need to scroll down to the point, additional settings, and you will find the point accessibility. So on top of it, you have a little bar here, you know, with general vision, hearing, and so on. So tap on vision. And now we will need here the point to remove animations. And if you turn this on to removing the animations, the phone will be much faster. Instagram is immediately there and immediately gone. Immediately there and immediately gone. And your phone, even with the Play Store, immediately there, immediately gone. So, and that is much faster. Let me um, turn on these animations again. If I turn this feature off here. So now, can you see that? It feels much slower right now. Uh, if you see the differences, huh? So I really recommend to you to remove this point here um, with the animations because uh, that saves time and also makes the phone faster. And yeah, the next video I want to show you is uh, to clone apps. Uh, you can have here on the phone uh, two WhatsApp accounts if you want. And hey, why not? You can insert uh, two SIM cards. Why not having one WhatsApp account for each number? No? Or you can have uh, two Instagram apps here to have two Instagram accounts at the same time. No? Also with Facebook and so on and so on. Let me show you how you can clone these apps. Just scroll down here, right next to the camera. Scroll down right next to the camera. Tap you on a symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point apps and here we will find the point dual apps. So first of all, you need to go on create. So now you can clone these apps here. Also here the ones below, by the way. So let's clone maybe WhatsApp. Just go here, turn dual apps on, turn on. So then the phone is creating. The second app of WhatsApp. May let's uh, yeah, clone our Instagram as well and Facebook. Why not? And by the way, also the apps here below you can clone. Eh? And this works even for games. So maybe if you have Clash of Clans or something like this, you can have a second village it's just like this on one phone. And um, also here the Netflix. Uh, a app you can clone if you have uh, more than one Netflix account you share. You don't know what you know what I mean. Or Spotify, same thing. Um, yeah, so many opportunities. So let's have a look how it looks like later. Huh? So as you can see, this is my main WhatsApp account, and this here is my second one, my main Instagram account, my second one. Um, Spotify, I think I have it here on more apps. Uh, my main one, and here my second one. And as you can see, you can recognize always the second app here with the orange mark at the corner. And uh, yeah, a pretty, pretty nice tool. And as I said, it works even for games. So a very nice tool. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is for our eyes uh, because you can increase the text size. So the display is large enough to do that. And uh, yeah, I've done it already. You can see that here in the settings. No? So I've done it uh, for you that you can follow here my instructions better. Um, and I really recommend this to you also. No? It's better for the eyes. So just tap you on the settings no? or scroll down here. You will find a symbol for the settings here as well. Huh? And uh, then go to the point the display. And here we find the point text size. And you can increase the text size. No? This is the default, the point S. No? I would recommend to you to put it on L because if you enlarge it too much, it will affect um, the notifications in a negative way. You know? So you uh, can't see where the previews anymore. So this is the reason why I recommend to you to put a set text size at maximum on the L position. So um, yeah, the best choice and uh, yeah, also the best choice for your eyes.
And also the next point I want to show you uh, is for the eyes. Uh, it is here the reading mode. We will have it here also at the display settings. So um, it is a blue light filter. So because we are all looking too often on our smartphone screen and that gives our eyes a lot of stress. And there's a way to reduce that stress uh, with that blue light filter. And John, we have called it reading mode. So um, let me show you how you can easily enable it now without going always here in the settings. So just scroll on your right next to the camera, scroll on right next to the camera, and then you have here the control center. And by the way, you have also second pages or the third page here you know, with uh, the icons. And uh, a part here of the icons is here the reading mode. And if you enable here the eye you know, for the reading mode, then you will see that the screen is turning into a warmer color and right? have a little yellow touch white now. And that's the blue light filter. And it affects also your sleep. You, know, you will sleep much better if you enable it because especially in night, you know, the eyes feel more stressed and you have made problems to fall into sleep. Now, okay, um, I would recommend to you right now, if you long press here, the eye for the reading mode, because then you will uh, go always directly to the settings of the reading mode. And then I can choose some options here. Um, I would recommend to you to take the classic one because the paper one is just black and white and so on. I would recommend to you always the classic one. Tap here in the arrow, by the way, and you have some more options. You can change now the color temperature. And as more warm the color temperature is, as better it is for your eyes. Uh, so increase the color temperature a bit. And even as a, if it's a bit unusual at the beginning, doesn't matter, you will get used to. Um, okay, go back now with the arrow here to be back in the reading mode settings. And below you find, will find a point chat tool. I recommend this point to you. If you say you don't want to have the reading mode in general, if you say, okay, I just want to have it to sleep better, but on the day I don't like it so much, then you can enable here the chat tool mode and turn it on um, you know, uh, automatically. Uh, I would recommend to you here the good night suite then, because that means if the sun uh, sets, the blue light filter will turn on and if the sun rises the blue light filter will turn off automatically and you don't have to turn on it off it always by your own so very nice feature but i recommend to you to have the reading mode also during the day no? but if you want to have it only at the night or in the evening hours no? turn on a scheduled and enable the good night suite another point for the eyes is um, especially in the evening hours or in the night if you have a very bright screen and uh, that will affect also the eyes in a negative way because it's stressed the eyes if you have a very wide screen. That's very uncomfortable. But there's a way to turn the white stuff here into a dark one. No? For that also, just scroll down here, then go to the second page, and then you have the point dark mode. If you turn it on, you will see that uh, some stuff will turn into a darker theme. You can see it especially here in the settings. No? So and uh, that will give your eyes less stress in the evening hours. But also here, um, you have to take care a bit uh, because um, this feature is not so good uh, in the, on, on the daytime because uh, if there's a lot of sunlight, you can't really read well the display and so on, and it's also negative for the eyes. So this feature, I recommend to you to schedule it, to have it only in the evening hours and in the night. Um, so just scroll in here again, go to the second page, and then long press here the icon for the dark mode. So then you're also here back into the settings of the um, dark mode and go here on schedule dark mode. And you could should enable it. And then it is from sunset to sunrise. Um, so if the sun sets, I turn on. And if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. So a very nice feature for your eyes. And by the way, this saves energy as well because with the OLED screen here, some pixels will turn off in the background, as well if you're on the screen, if you're using the dark mode. And um, yeah, that saves energy. Think also about our planet. Huh? And with that, we will come to the next mode, um, energy saving. No? Because there's always a time, every day we don't need our smartphone, when you're sleeping. Huh? And uh, sometimes we forget to turn off our phone, no? but it is much better. Uh, if we turn off always our phone because this saves a lot of energy for many hours. Um, okay, uh, there's a way to do that automatically. The phone will turn off every day 
in the evening hours, most of the time, uh, automatically, and you can even turn it on automatically. Let me show you what I mean. So just look here on the starting page for the icon here of the security. So the green icon here with the white shield in it and the white, uh, green flash in it. And go on away. Okay, then we will need here the point battery. And then we have this little bar with the battery safer and we will need the second one here, battery. And you will find the point chat tool power on off. So here you can chat tool a power off time. Yeah. Um, so like your power off time you want to have and here you can uh, set up a repeating time. If you want to have it for every day or just for weekdays or if you want to customize it, you can select the days where it should happen. But I'm telling you, even if the phone turn off, uh, automatically you can turn it on immediately after again so in case uh, you want to have it a bit longer it's no problem um, the same thing also here um, with power on time uh, so you can set up here a power on time and uh, every day on the same time or on the customized days here uh, when the phone will turn on automatically and you don't have to become nervous that alarm doesn't ring or something like this you know what I mean so um, a very nice mood you save a lot of energy and you do something also for your health because you don't have this disturbing notifications maybe at night if you forgot to turn off your phone. Yeah? So a very nice mode and a very nice mode also for the environment. Yeah, the next mode I want to show you is uh, something for the comfort because you can uh, enable here a sidebar with your favorite apps. Um, so especially nice if you want to use the phone with one hand. Let me show you what I mean. So for that, just scroll down here right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings, scroll down now to the point special features, and there you will find the point floating windows, and you will have the point sidebar. Tap on it and go on always show. Okay, then you will have here this little sidebar. And if you swipe it in, you will have access to your favorite apps. Okay. And if it's not a good position for you, you can long press it and put it to another position. No? Or you can even put it to the other side. No? That's why if you're maybe right-handed, you should have it here on the other side. No? So, and that means if you have the phone with one hand, you easily swipe it out and choose now your favorite app uh, you want to have. You can also scroll down and so on. So a pretty nice mode. Just tap on the outside and the <laughs> sidebar will disappear as well and you have it even if you play games and so on or watching videos you have always access here to the sidebar so a pretty nice mode by the way if you open here an app in the uh, sidebar no? what is also pretty nice it comes in a floating mode so meanwhile you're watching a video or something like this and just want to answer here um, fast uh, WhatsApp message, you can do that. No? By the way, if you want to close it, just go on the second bar and swipe it up like this and you, and you have closed it. No? So a pretty nice way, but you have also here, by the way, at the floating windows, some instructions, how you can work with the floating windows. So a pretty nice mode. And by the way, there's also a one-handed mode because the screen is very large, as you know, and you cannot reach everything with one Thumb. But there's a way to make the screen a bit smaller by just swiping out here from the inside to the outside on the navigation bar. Ne? Then you have here um, the screen get lower then and then you have uh, better access here to the top. Ne? If you want to have it back, just tap here on the outside and you're back in a regular mode. But don't wonder if it doesn't work with you right now because you have to enable this feature first. So just scroll on your right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings, then go to the point. Additional settings, here it is. And here we will find the point one-handed mode and this one-handed mode has to be turned on if it's marked blue here. No? So just tap here and then it becomes blue and you have this one-handed mode. Yeah, the next video I want to show you is uh, for the camera because uh, you can quick launch the camera. Imagine there's a very nice scene and you want to have a picture no? and then you need to have a look for your camera app and so on that is taking time. But there's a way to quick launch the camera but just double tapping the power button and you're immediately at the camera without wasting time and so on. And uh, yeah, don't wonder if this doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable also this feature first. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll down here, right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. Scroll down now to the point additional settings. 
Now you will need to point gesture shortcuts. And now you will need to point launch camera. And I uh, recommend to you to take the first one. You need to double press the power button to launch the camera. Um, so that means you know, whenever you double press the power button, you're immediately at the camera without wasting time. It made a safe, a great picture one day. Huh? And by the way, what's pretty, pretty awesome, this feature works also if the phone is on standby. Huh? Just double press the power button and you're immediately then at the camera. And as I said, without safety, uh, without wasting time, and that saves me your great picture one day. Yeah, the last feature I want to show you is uh, for the navigation bar, you know, uh, because you can uh, put some more actions here on the navigation bar. No? So, but this works just if you're using the navigation bar, as most of the users, if you're using the gestures, um, it's just nothing for you right now, but maybe it becomes interesting if I show you what you can do with that. Okay, um, first of all, we need the settings. So just scroll down here. I want to simplify for the settings. Go now to the point home screen. Tap here on system navigation. And if you're using the buttons, no? you will see here now the point button shortcuts. Okay, and here are the actions you can do. No? Next to the, just tap one time for short, you can go back. You have the home screen and the recent tabs, huh? but uh, you can also set up some more actions if you long press the buttons here or if you press two buttons at the same time. Huh? By the way, uh, the default settings are for the um, for the home button already. If you long press it, you have to Google Assistant, huh? so it's already there. But you can also choose actions maybe if you long press uh, um, the, the back button, huh? then you can maybe turn off the torch huh? or turn on the torch. So if you long press now the back button, you turn on the torch, if you long press again, the torch will turn off. So set up some options here. Um, a pretty nice feature, by the way, as well. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question and show you uh, some nice tips and tricks here for the phone, for the setup and so on. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that will be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other uh, videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.